This is Kaelin Carr. You're watching This Week in MLS with Susanna Collins and Giles Barnes. <laughs> What's up, Giles? I mean, Caitlin. Jeez. Is it you? He well, he wouldn't pass me the ball enough, Giles, <laughs> when we played together, and now he's trying to take my gig on camera. Oh my gosh! Up. I actually heard he's commissioned he his is. own artwork of himself. It's back nice. There. It's Did nice. He, I think he might have painted that. He's European. He's got some like and sort of should, worldly talent. We talents. should mention that. We are here in Houston, your old, your old stomping grounds. Yes, President's um, Club. We I made it took, up here. We took the show on the road That's right. this week. It's I'm surprised exciting. you still recognize me. I, I was going to say you've changed a little bit. I wasn't sure it was I have, you at I, first. Uh, did you but... see my uh, ripped jeans? You guys, you got a little rip, right? Totally. Twinsies. Total twinsies. Um, you have been so busy. I've been doing the Copa America thing, but mm -hmm. you've been working on your show, The Movement, yeah? That's right, yeah. I was just in Kansas City. Uh, actually, these jeans, Baldwin Denim, I uh, got to meet Matt Baldwin. So much swag. Plug. Again. And then uh, the first episode is in Montreal. Mm -hmm. uh, Patrice Bernier, the people's champ. Uh, Mario Biello, some style, music, food, culture, it's, it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, so this is debuting on MLSsoccer.com on Thursday, you guys. It's called The Movement. Yes. It's Kaylin's show. I cannot wait to check it out. Me too. So proud of you, buddy. Thank you. Um, yeah, but the good news is, after what? a two week Copa break, MLS is back, so We're let's back. get to it, huh? All right, let's do it. We're gonna start in Orlando, and before we talk about what happened on the field, I think it's really important that we take a step back right now and talk about the absolutely beautiful tribute that happened during the game to the 49 people that uh, sadly lost their lives in that horrific, horrific incident at Pulse Nightclub. Yeah, 49th minute, they, they all stopped. Yeah. Um, for, I think for 30 seconds and you could hear a pin drop at least just yeah. watching on the broadcast. A beautiful moment, I think. Um, you see the club stand up for the city and it, it was great to see the community get a chance to come together in a way uh, Sort of like a hey, you know, we're still here, we're strong, and nothing's gonna sort of stop us from having that bond as a city. It's cool, you know. There, there's a lot of moments we talk about how soccer can impact other things. Now, of course, the healing is still gonna need to take place there, but it was a, it was great to see an MLS club really take a leadership role in that. Definitely a special night in Orlando, and they thought they had this one all locked up. Julio Baptista scores in extra time, but then Shea Salinas with the equalizer shortly thereafter. Um, they don't walk away with all three points, but I feel like this is one of these games where, you know, especially dealing with what happened that week, football, soccer, doesn't matter. Yeah, there's, I mean, there's gonna be, you know, they're, they're obviously competitive guys, they put everything into it, but yeah, in moments like these, they're gonna have a sense of the bigger picture. Uh, and what they did for the city is something I think people are not gonna forget. Absolutely. All right, moving on to New York and for the first time, NYCFC, all three designated players found the back of the net. Pirlo finally scores off the free kick, your boy. Um, this one was really exciting. NYCFC, they ended Philly's eight game winning streak, snapped their own four game winless streak with a 3-2 win. And Kaylin, we've talked a lot about NYCFC's struggles, but how big was it for them after this break to come out and secure all three points? Yeah, three DPs, three goals. Just lock that in, Susanna. That's gonna happen <laughs> They're every gonna keep week doing it. from here on out, guys. Get excited. Yep. Uh, no, there was actually, uh, Jack Harrison is the guy who stood out to me, even though he's not a, nearly as big a name, but his insertion to the lineup, that beautiful run he had mm. on David Villa's first goal, and David Villa, of course, the quality oh, man, of finish man. that, not even any time to react, bends it to the near post. He almost had one from half field, goes off the crossbar. Now, NYCFC almost gives it away late again. I was having cringing <laughs> watching was, this one. It, it looked like they but were going to But this could be a moment, just getting through it. and getting that three points at home, uh, having getting these guys off the mark, especially Pirlo and Frank Lampard. Uh, it was a big way for them. They'll take it however they can get it. All right, let's talk about the Rapids. Their hot streak continues. They have only dropped two points in their last eight matches at home after a 2-1 win over Chicago. Uh, they do this without Jermaine Jones, who is obviously representing his United States team uh, in the Copa America. But before he joined this Colorado team, he said that this team was good without him, um, and they have certainly been better with him. But but they're proving yeah. they're proving everybody wrong here. They're still proving it, you know. People don't talk about them enough, and they're doing it yeah, without him. And uh, the, the thing is, though, I know they're bringing in Tim Howard, but I really feel for Zach McMath yeah, right now. because he's, he's been so good. He's been incredible this season, 
and he's gonna probably get a spot taken by Tim Howard when he arrives. It's still great for him and his career overall. Uh, Chicago in this one, my old club, put themselves in some tough spots, and then it's Marco Papa, Marquito, steps up big with a deflected goal, but, but a, a big one for him as well. I think he's a player that can have a, a bigger influence for them down the road. All right, let's talk about two teams who had gone winless in their previous four matches, the Galaxy and Toronto FC. Uh, Toronto FC win this one 1-0, one but they're both teams missing some, some guys. Yeah, Jossie, of course, uh, Robbie Keane's at the Euros. Yep. A lot of guys are out for them, but this squad is deep. You know, they've, they've built it this way. They've had some guys, though, who are maybe not performing the way they're expected, and, and they need to lean on a little bit more. Sebastian Legette mm -hmm. missed a good chance in this one. He had eight goals last year. He still has zero for the season. Uh, they really need to get him going. But for Toronto, it's a big win for them. Only their second win at home. Granted, they were on the road for much of the season. And Drew Moore steps up as the way the captain should. Yes, absolutely. Well, there was plenty of other action around the league that you could have checked out on MLS Live. The Revs finally get that win on the road. They defeat the Whitecaps 2-1, Kaelin. They needed a road win. This is big for them. And Kellen Rowe was excellent. His finish off the bounce, that's not easy to do. Uh, he's played right back, left back, in the middle, underneath. He's been Mr. Versatility for them this year. He's been excellent. All right, and the crew and the impact finish in a nil-nil draw. This one was uh, kind of a snooze. Yeah, I was up there uh, watching these playoff matches between these two teams. This one was not uh, prime time viewing. <laughs> uh, a little bit ugly. Iguain is out for a while. Piotti yeah. was missing. Uh, they're going to need to get Piotti back for the impact. And Venegas is another guy. He had such a good performance for Costa Rica. You'd like to see him make a, make a bigger impact, pun intended. <laughs> oh, man. And another scoreless affair right here in Houston between the Dynamo and DC United, Kalen. Bill Hamid. I thought of coming back to Houston, I thought we would be able to get the result. But Bill Hamid made two huge saves, one in the dying minute off a, a horse header. He's going to be huge for them. They just, neither team can really score goals right now. Both of them need to figure out their woes. For DC, it's injuries. And for Houston, it's just getting guys going. And Giles Barnes is back. That's the good news. And RSL welcome the Timbers. Those two teams settle for the 2-2 draw. And Kalen at this point are Portland just looking to get points anywhere they can. Yeah, they're in eighth place on 20 points. Uh, big home match this weekend. ESPN 2 against the Dynamo. I'm, I'm definitely going to be dialed into that one. And having just one win in their previous 11 matches, SKC got the huge 2-0 win over FC Dallas. You were at this one, weren't you? Yeah, I was at it. And a huge win for Sporting. Now, I was standing actually right on the sideline as that goal trickles across the line. The linesman uh, was not near me. Uh, <laughs> but they got a little bit fortunate. But right now, Sporting Kansas City needs all the bounces they can get. And credit to them, they took their chances when they got it. And finally, the Red Bulls notched their fourth consecutive clean sheet, a 2-0 win over Seattle. And Kaylin, don't look now, but the Red Bulls are sitting in second place in the Eastern Conference. Mike Grella, folks. Mike Grella for All-Star. I'm telling you, if he's not on the All-Star team, <laughs> it's a crime. I don't care about fan votes. I don't care about DPs, commissioners picks, whatever you want, coaches picks. Mike Grella needs to be on just from his play. Um, no, I don't have anything at stake here other than I just like his play. His play has been excellent for the Red Bulls, and I want to see the guys who are, are playing the best get on the team. Making the case. I love it. All right, well, looking ahead to all the MLS action this week, we don't have to wait long as there will be three games on Wednesday night, which you can catch on MLS Live. Then on Saturday, Seattle welcomes NYCFC to CenturyLink Field at 5 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. And we'll have another installment of the California Classico at Stanford Stadium as the Quakes welcome the Galaxy at 10 p.m. Eastern on Univision. Now, those aren't the only games on Saturday. If you have MLS Live, ahem, you will be able to see those other six games. And one more national game Sunday, the Dynamo will travel to Portland to face the Timbers. That can be seen dale, at 6 p.m. on ESPN2. And Kaylin, it's so good to have you back, man. Yeah, I missed you. Back I, in the saddle. Yeah, it's good to be back. Together again. Um, okay, I, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, look at this. You know, we missed each other. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna let you close out the show solo. Really? Because I feel like, I feel like you need to, you know, get the reps under your belt, get back into I'm it. Am I rusty? I, yeah, a little bit. I wasn't okay. going to say anything. It was a great show, though. Okay, great. Yeah. Did great. Um, okay. But so this one I'm gonna have you do. I just want you to look in that teleprompter. Okay. Right there. Just read it okay. and uh, you're golden. Okay. Are you gonna clear out for me? Yes, I am. Okay, I am. Cool. This is your moment. Take your time. Uh, all right. Um, so I guess that was this week in MLS with.
Kaylin Carr, and uh, that's really all that matters. And roll the tape, I guess? Yeah, roll the tape. What's up, Kaylin? I'm hanging with your buddy, Stu, and... Um, but, buddy is a loose but, term, oh, by the way. Yikes, yikes. Oh, this isn't going well already. Uh, but, but he had some, some words of advice for you. Take it away, Stu. Uh, well, Kaylin, <laughs> my first piece of advice uh, for you is try not to fall asleep on the job. Um, after your performance and you coming along to my bachelor party where I think you might have been there, uh, there was also a rumor that you were sleeping for 95% of the time and your fellow staffers at MLS Soccer have told me that once you get off camera you have a tendency to doze off, fall asleep, um, you're not very pleasant around the workplace. Um, these are all characteristics, Kaylin, when you finish playing that you need to pick up and you need to be nice to your co-workers. Hello, Susanna, I'm your, I'm your friend, buddy. We, yeah, we can exactly. get along, it's so, cool. So Kaylin, now while I think you're doing an excellent job with some things, uh, <laughs> particularly on the road. You're very good on the road. The studio stuff needs a little bit of work. Um, but other than that, keep up the great work, man. <laughs> Nothing but love. <laughs> I'm sorry, is he still talking? Jeez, that was the longest. Stu. Look, you can't talk through the whole game. I know you got 90 minutes, but this is not an hour and a half show, okay, buddy? Uh, he's probably right, though. I did sleep most of his voucher party. I was exhausted. Vegas, dude, for like, Three, four, five nights, I don't even know how long we were there. That's pretty aggressive for a bachelor party. Um, anyways, uh, I think that's all we have for the show. Thanks, Susanna, wherever you are. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week.